How's it going everyone and welcome back to Tech Fortress, the YouTube channel where I help fix your tech related problems and help educate you on the latest tech and more. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple logo animation for your company in Adobe After Effects. And I'm also going to be showing you how you can add some sound or a sound effects or like a signature sound to that logo animation. Before I begin, I would just like to say that these videos do take quite a while to make and I'd really appreciate it if you could go down below, leave a like, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you're the first person to watch the latest Tech Fortress videos. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so the main product of this video is going to be this little animation I've made here for the fake company uh, Greenscape that I've just made up. And so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to create a new project. I'm then going to create a new composition. And I'm going to give my composition a Greenscape logo animation. And I'm going to press OK. And we'll now come up with all my stuff here. I'm going to go over here and double tap there. And I'm going to go find my images. So I've got this little leaf here and the uh, text. Alright, so I'm now going to drag all my stuff onto my scene here. So I'm going to drag my white image here. So as a background. So it's not just plain black. And I'm going to leave that there. And I'm now going to drag my text onto it. Like a nice greenscape text there. And I'm also going to drag the leaf onto it. I'm going to have to resize that because it is huge. Alright, so now I've got my main aspects that I'm going to be using in my animation. And so, basically what I'm going to be doing is, I'm um, thinking I'm going to have the uh, leaf, like, spin around. And then, out from the leaf, when it stops spinning, it's going to pop out the greenscape text. So, over here, on the bottom here, well, where I've got all my images with a timeline looking thing there. I'm going to actually rename the images so it's easier to find which ones are which. So I'm going to rename this one here to Leaf. There we go. And um, I'll just rename the wide image to Background. So now if you click on the drop down arrows here, you'll find all these opacity, position, scale, rotation. And so that's what I'm, that's what we're going to be using. So we're going to be adding keyframes, and we're going to be messing with these um, as the keyframes progress. So we're going to basically. So the first one we're going to need for this leaf is rotation. So this button here, that's how you create a keyframe, the stopwatch. And so we're going to find where we're going to want to put our first keyframe for the leaf. So. This uh, scroller down here will change the um, like scale of the timeline, so you can bring it down to a real small segments, like singular frames, so you can find the perfect spot. And so I'm going to start a keyframe at 15 frames, and I'm going to change my uh, rotation to 359 degrees. And I'm now going to go f get a second keyframe. And at this second keyframe, I'm going to make the rotation zero. Now I'm going to click over here to create a new keyframe at that spot. And I'm then going to rotate the leaf to zero. And if I click play now, ooh. Actually, sorry, you're supposed to change on this first one to negative 359. Yes. So now if I play it, it'll do a full spin. But that looks pretty like robotic. It doesn't really look normal. So I'm going to add some motion blur here. So if you go over here and hover over that, it'll say motion blur. And you little tick the little box there. And so now when I play it, by the way, press play spaces to press play. 
And now when I play it, it has a nice, when it spins around, it'll blur as, it mo as the motion. So I'm just going to make that a little bit shorter. Alright, so now I'm going to do the text. So now I'm going to click the drop downs on my text. And what I'm going to be editing for this, for the text, is opacity and position. So I'm going to be changing the opacity from 0 to 100% when it stops. And it's also going to be moving position out from the leaf. So it looks like it's move, the leaf pops it out as it stops. So I want to create a opacity keyframe there and set it to 0. And I also... Actually, I'll just bring that back up to 100 so I can see it. On the key, I'm going to create a position keyframe there. And I'm going to move the Greenscape logo. I'm going to move it over somewhere in the middle of the leaf. I'll put it there. And so now I'm just going to change the opacity to 0. 0%. Zero and I'm going to bring it out a bit further. And I'm going to change the uh, opacity to create a new keyframe for each of them. And I'm going to change the opacity to 100%. And I'm also going to change the position. I'm going to move it out to where I want the text to pop out to. And so now if we play that, and I'll put some motion blur on it. Might actually move them forward a little bit. Oh, so as you can see there, the um, the green doesn't look too good. The uh, text appears before, so I'm just going to move that across a little bit, so it doesn't appear too early. All right, so I'm now just going to go ahead and tweak a few things, like the uh, when different things play the timing of each keyframe and so this time so um, this is basically you just do to how you like so you can play around with other um, other effects like you can change the scale of things you can move them from a different position you can you can put a rotation on the text it's honestly up to whatever you want to do whatever you want to think looks nice you've just got the basics from this you use keyframe you place another keyframe and that will move um, your t whatever object or apply that over the duration between those two keyframes. All right, so I'm happy with what I've got now and it's time to get onto some sound effects. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to put your um, video or your animation into Adobe uh, Premiere Pro or any video editor and you're gonna to wanna to go find some uh, sound effects or a sound or you could create your own sound on the internet. And so you want to bring them into here, and now you just want to basically place it where you like want. So I've got my swoosh sound effect there. I might go and change. I might use another one. I don't really know. I've got a couple of them here. I might swap them out. This one's sounding all right. Okay. I might try and move it though. I might try and get it in exact. I'm going to clear that, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit scale it out and I'm gonna go find a I'm gonna use another one so find the exact spot and I'm gonna use swoosh number three so I'm gonna give that a play Ooh, I like that play that again all right so I reckon this might be the one all right I'm happy with that all right, so I really hope you found this video helpful or you found or this video was useful. If you liked the video or you found it helpful, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, make sure you leave a dislike and leave a comment if you uh, have any trouble. And uh, make sure you share this with any of your friends or anyone you know that you think might find this helpful, might find this entertaining. And uh, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. As always, if you're new here, make sure you go down below, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to make sure you're the first person to watch the latest Tech Fortress videos. And alright, I'll see you in the next video.